Um, you know, one of the things that's frustrating me in society is I, I feel like men have lost their way. And I know one of the cool things about you is you almost bring like that alpha back, homie, <laughs> with the guns, homie. How do you feel about the state of men? Like, it's not really an interview, but you know. Ah, look, man, the system, society, media, literally have taken men and diluted what a man is. If you but isn't that f for the best of society? It's not for the best of society. Do you think the stats are better now or 100 years ago in terms of women being GBV and all that? It's but worse maybe it's now. because we didn't keep we, stats back then. No, no. Look at... So we've always had stats. So the people always had intelligence far greater than the system, even today. The city, your city or your municipality will know the previous owner of the house and the current. But the people will know the previous owner's mom's grave. And they also know the people living in there. Yeah, Not just know, the owner, because it yeah, might be your house. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The, the problem is, and I hate it, it sounds like we're going back to this racial nonsense. It's, yeah. it's colonization, that, that system of colonization. Africa pre-colonization, we're at our most successful. You reckon? I know that. That's is it I've, using a different measurement of what we call success and civilization and technology. All that. Even that, that, that's why they define what beauty is for you <coughs> and they put you in a corner so much that you end up subscribing to that commercial definition of beauty, not what yours actually is or was. Are you like pro-black and pan-Africanist? I am me, I'm, I'm, I'm pro-African. Is that like pro-going back to the past? I'm pro-Africa pre-colonization. I'm pro that. But are you working towards that? Or is it just like a wish? Because yeah, I see a lot of woke it's, people it's, it's are, are fantasizing. Nah, bro. They, a lot of people um, are big talkers. Mm. I, 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 my, my, my work is big. I talk. If you thought I talk big, come see my work. I do it's, big. It's bigger than what I always say, right? So, so for me, if we can just go back to the real history, because even the history that we refer to is not our history. It's, a, it's history that is told by others for us, you know? And it's tainted. It's tainted. And it's very time. shallow. It's like the last 100, 200 yeah. years, which is, we, we already we actually don't know. We actually don't know how to refer to history. Look, forget, forget 100, 200 years. Even you and your own family, me, everybody that's listening, mm. that's black. You can't tell me four generations ago. You, you, you can tell me your mom, your dad, their parents. That's it. You can't tell me now, quickly, off the bat. Can can anybody tell me mm. the fourth ge this, this generation? It's flames. It's flames. But people, and and the reason is because they made sure we don't understand who we are, so they can keep telling us who we are. Yeah. And that's that's not accurate. So, for me, I love ancient African history, and I am a scholar of ancient African history. I can tell you a lot about ancient African history, our systems, our economic systems of the time. Mm. Um, and again, the land issue is a big is a big issue. They want you not to focus on the land because back, the, back in the days, Chalwewuti, the land was owned by a man. A woman couldn't own land. Who said that? I need to pill again. Again, they, 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 tell, they us. tell us. Let me let me let me give you a small small practical ways of reasoning around this. Yeah. We men would be forced to go hit the streets and hustle. But sure. If you are married, marriage in its true sense, the woman would inherit the property. I've heard stuff like that. No, no, I'm telling you, that's what it is. Mm. So if you are taking a woman and saying you are marrying her, the property belongs to that the woman. woman. Yeah. Joshua Maponga speaks about this, by the way. He I, always I, mentions I that a, ma a man must sure. get land first, get the get the land. Pregnant is what sure. he normally says, and then you can bring a woman. One hundred percent. Because you're bringing a woman to what? Yeah. A flat somewhere I, owned I by someone else. I agree. That's why. That's why what we need today mm. is a dictator with a pure heart and pure intelligence and pure wisdom. That doesn't exist. Ah, uh, look, I'm saying it's like. Are you, say, are you that dictator? I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Maybe closest to be, but I'm not. So. I'm saying, if I was a dictator, if I was leading your country right now, yeah. there would be a law on marriage that says you can't get married if you don't own property. And it's just, so we adding to the social ills. We contribute to the, to the inverted pyramid. Mm. We're contributing to the nonsense that's happening and we're blaming others. We just need guiding principles, which our system as Africans used to have. 
when you marry, even family itself, it was an institution. You know. True. A family is an institution. We've become very isolated. Yeah, mam kholo, umam kholo, umam ngani, mangwani, they all had a deliberate, intentional role they play in the family. Mm. You you would never have, so even even if you have a baby mama, mm. all your kids would be serviced. Let's say you've got three. All your kids would be serviced by your family. Right now, as we speak, your kids are serviced by you. True. Your aunt doesn't play that role. True. Your aunt plays a role of hate right now. I don't even know your family dynamics. Mm. My aunts play a, a role of hate. If If I didn't have what i have today i'd be in shit if my life depended on my family like like most black men like most black men who are actually in I'd shit be, i'd be in serious shit my grandfather dies they start fighting for the family house those that are married in their own comfortable houses they start coming here to say that they, they, they've got a will that is faked <laughs> and and therefore the the house belongs to them and and them as a small part of the family and the majority of the family must see his way so we've lost our ways to the, to, to the maximum and i personally hate it and i think we should go back to ancient african history to see some of our ancient african secrets and bring them back but you understand that um not you understand we we have uh, <laughs> we have kings mm. we have chiefs we've got uh, right cultural now. leaders right now they're the ones that are meant to be are leading us are you saying us. right now we've got kings and queens and cultural leaders right now <laughs> voice you see the problem is men have been diluted so much that we go with whatever the system say yeah kings even the zulu king to be specific the sutu king all kings mm. you are a king through your actions not a king through your inheritance yeah don't don't part, do of, part of the actions uh, obviously back in the day was conquest yes, but, <laughs> but today it's like the, there's no competition so back in the day maybe we could fight izenzo zako uh. makes you king makes you traditional leader don't come here and tell me that uh, because lux is the king of whatever people and my 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 son that is a delinquent must be a king mm. no my son's actions must make him king if there's someone here who who can lead the people better into <laughs> to better positions mm. that person must be the king of the day what do you think should be the requirements of a king i'm thinking of things like having land feeding your people and how would you link that to yes, being, a, being a king of your home and a king of okay. your family Th- this is getting my heart my heart rate going up because I like it because let me tell you before I answer that question what are the requirements of the, someone to be a king or queen or whatever mm. let's uh, first face reality i'm sotu mm. who's the king of the sotus what does he do for me there are millions of sotus on yao peman where's the king to come and uh, help us here move away from the problems we have as as people mm. the in soweto the zulu king mosoweto Today I've got a Soweto a Zulu girl being raped in Soweto. Hmm. These are our stats. Where the kings? Come on, P. Don't come tell me here that traditional leadership is a ing, it's a ing. We have to be honest. Do you think and we should remove the titles maybe no. and say it, it needs to be earned through action? No. No, I'm saying as, a, as an education. We need to remove the thing. salaries they get from this government system. And they must I, go I back don't to being politics. I mean they must go back to being real kings, not not fed kings, not none about kerisa king or by kerisa. Government the kerisa king now. Untorki king. How does it link to the home? I'm saying so we've got a situation yeah. where our kings are not responsible. They're not. For they're their not. People. For their people and we're not and saying it in a bad way, Penel. They, yeah. they mustn't come here and take this podcast and want to turn uh, the, the traditional people against you or me. Mm. It's not. The truth is the kings are not being held accountable. When last did we hear the king of Botswana came on Kenya Botswana in South Africa Botswana's get raped every day Zulus get raped every day the Zulus in prisons who visits the where, where are the systems from from these royal families mm. where are the systems or they also rely on government eh they also rely on government so where now if you have kids and I'm your neighbor your wife relies on lax yes, your kids man. relies on lax who's the real father of your household I'm mm. on wait man let's not lie to each other penel We are old here. So who's me- who's meant to fix the situation? I don't want to speak politics, yeah. but we've we've kind of agreed that our politicians don't seem to be the the people. Which people? No, because the people listen to the I'm kings. I'm not saying some. The, yeah, look, I'm not saying some some people. So the people listen to the kings because they they all victims of the systems. The king is a victim of the system. 
the royal family is a victim of the system. Yeah. The people are the victim of the system. So one person that actually hasn't been intoxicated by the medication from these systems needs to rise up and wake the others up. Why don't you lead, dog? Because I don't, I'm not interested in being anybody's king. Why not? What if people need you? Look, if my actions... Like, at which, at which point do you say, look, I think people need me. As much as I want them to rise up, they need they me now. not, and they're being whacked okay. by the system. Okay, P, they need me now. And I always rise above the waters. It doesn't matter how deep the waters are. When mm. my people throw me in the waters, I always come up. Mm. You know the story. I don't yeah. need to even repeat it. So I can do as much as I can do as much as people require of me. I can go as far as people require of me. If people are not saying, hey, be a president, I'm not going to be a president because I am not that guy. I've got many specialties and skills that I have that I could rather be servicing my my career choices, my personal ambitions. I don't do it because people always take me and say, that, that mile is for you to run, and I run it. Mm. And I don't complain, and I don't have a problem because I'm competent at it. And that's why I come back always with the victory and with the trophy and say, yeah, people keep on training. You see? So, so you are leading? I'm leading every single day. Uh, but by being honest on this podcast is me leading because yeah. somebody's going to wake up. Somebody's going to say, even a, a king, if they're not sh shallow and short-sighted, they might just realize that I'm a king by title, not by reality and my actions. Do you think, do you think that there's someone who would be selling Nyope to, to, to the old kingdoms? Do you think Shaka Zulu, and I'm not throwing shots at the new king, the young king, he's a yeah. young king, we must support him and give him direction where we think he, he needs that direction. But sure. I'm not suggesting he doesn't have, he, only time will tell because he's a new king. Yeah. His actions will come with it. So, do you think that during Chaka's time, you'd sell me up in the kingdom? Ah, you see, you're smiling because you know <laughs> that that is a proper commander. You don't mess around with these people with him around. But why is it easy for our traditional leaders, for a Mutwana, and if you go to a Tswana king or a Sutu, a Sutu king or a Ndebele king, ask them how many Ndebeles are on Nyaope. They don't mm. even ha have any clue. So Which means it's not even a problem that they're trying to solve. No, they're not trying to solve that problem. They're just sympathizing uh, with, 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 they're like us. The Shame. difference is the title. Oh, government uh, must do bad. Uh, yes, well, you know, that's nonsense for me. So let's not talk about things that are outside reality. Reality is that we don't have traditional leadership in this country. Bokontralesa and the other traditional leadership bodies, they are there. But what is their work? Is their work to, to be, uh, when, when, when people are popular on, on Instagram, my influence. Yeah, are they now influencers? They are traditional influencers, those people. On Africa Day, they dress best and they, they get likes on Twitter. Of course. Don't tell me on a daily basis. We, they must become operators, kings and queens and royal families. Mm -hmm. They are that because of their actions. Nothing else. If there's no action that backs up your, your title, then you're just like everyone. You've spoken about your dad on platforms before, and um, I've mentioned my dad a bit in passing. I just wanted to know how much you think he influenced the man you are today, and how much you think alternative, I'm calling them alternative and not toxic, alternative male role models, how important they are in today's world. You know, Andrew Tate says something like, Men shouldn't be around the house. A man should be in the streets hustling, making things shake. Look, it, and today we're being Andrew, we're, we're being conditioned to basically be mothers. Yeah. Be there, change nappies, play with your kids. Look, let, let's not let's not use those terms because then people who were conditioned to be feminists and what what will have a lot to say without understanding. Half the time, people who who support. Um, certain groups uh, are they at face value? They they don't know the depth of it. So yeah. let, let's let's go deep a little bit. What does nature say? Nature says I can run faster. Nature says that I am stronger. Nature says physically, not yeah. otherwise. Nature says that I can take, I can take, um, I can take on a lion more than a woman would ever dare to. And someone will quickly say, "Who said girl power? We can also do it." I'm saying nature. I'm not saying. Your, your group yeah. of thinkers. I'm saying nature. So if you, if you subscribe to nature, you then understand that if this, there's a message that must go 20 kilometers away from our community, it's best if a man takes it mm. because a man will be able to jump across the river. If the tides go up, they've got the endurance to swim. So I'm not saying an, an Olympic athlete, that's a woman mm. competing with an average man. I am saying the average to average, average versus average. Sure. So... If you understand nature alone, 
you'll understand that we all have natural roles to play. Mm. So if I start taking women and taking them underground because we must have a, a balance in employment and therefore 50% of the people working underground in the mines must be women. Mm. What are you saying to, to, to that that's what the popel or the womb. It will never take it. If a woman a up begil for sure the mm. whole day, it disturbs who they are naturally. Are you saying you're Go. also against uh, men infiltrating traditionally female-owned spaces, preschools, being a nurse, so, being a nanny? So, so there's a reason why. Naturally, naturally, women are better at a lot of things. Naturally, men are better at a lot of things. Mm. Don't go against nature. What are you doing? Allow those spaces to be occupied by those who are naturally able to occupy them. Mm. Because otherwise, you're creating another animal. If you're saying, if, you say, if my mom worked underground, I wouldn't be here with mm. you on this podcast. I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, A lot of the women that work underground, their stories are not told. Of why like, they had to get there? No, no. Of, of, of the consequences thereafter. Oh, snap. Yeah. You, uh, hey, we are, we, are, we are also women who drive trucks. Go ask them what, what happens to their health afterwards. Mm. Are they, when they retire, are they a normal 50-year-old? Are they a normal 50-year-old woman? So we, we're just forcing things here. And here's another thing, another way to look at it, P. Mm. Sorry to disturb you. So if the world is 10 years old mm. and the life we live is not even a year old, what, what, do you think the nine years of how people lived, all those people are stupid and we're the smart ones? Think about it. And that's what we all think, to be honest. We, we think all we're think smart. We know, we we're not actually, better than we're history actually and not nature. Smart. We're not smart. We're not smart at all. Which, which, which animal, which human being is smart when they rely on the system to, for security? You rely on the police to keep your mother and your wife and your children safe. Listen, none of the people around me know that when I'm around, nobody, absolutely nobody is going to do anything to them in terms of force. Because mm. I will match their force and they'll hit the pavement. Yes, yes. So, um, and I'm not boasting about it. I'm just saying I'm competent at it. Mm. I don't need to display the competence every single day that I can shoot an AK. But those who know, know mm. that probably in the police force, there's probably, I can't even say 1% because that takes, that I'll, I'll be bothered. There's probably no one who, who, who's as accurate as me in real time, as in right now. You see? So, as a shooter. As a shooter. Mm. It's something that I don't speak about every day. Mm. But let's go to the shooting range. I, I, will, I will do things for you that, that you'll be like, where, where did you actually train? Your dad was a lion. He was, he was not an uh, average man. And that's why I'm Makesta, asking. And Jack, Makesta, let me tell you. Makesta, a lot of people thought they knew him. You, don't, you have no clue. Mm. You have no clue. I understood the importance of and you talk about a guy that didn't go to school. Mm. You're talking about a guy that, that prioritized action over speech. Mm. You talk about, about a guy that paid school fees at heavy schools, mm. while others, other dads with degrees failed to even put bread on the table. Yes, man. You talk, you talk about real niggas here when you talk about my dad. So, Did you always have this type of view on him, or has it changed yeah, as you've grown up? No, bro. I, my I, view counted my first, I counted my first million. When I was in nursery school, because my dad and them went to go rob a bank, and I was part of the plan. Glorify crime, go to I, I was part. Of, I'm not glorifying crime. I'm, I'm glorifying my reality. So if sure. you have a problem, <laughs> it's yours alone. I hear you. So my reality says, I was part of. I was listening to my to my dad's crew plan a robbery because they were under pressure to send money to to Ntozetam to MK and what what outside the country. Mm. So their job was to steal to, to fund camps hmm. so, and rob banks to fund camps. So I would listen to them say, when you arrive, it's this car, but when you get away, it must be that car. And then a few blocks away, we swap cars and then we're going to split guys. So I, I would have the detailed plan. So I'd be at, in, in a grade one class, okay? I'm seven years old. <laughs> and I know that today is the day they're going to rob this bank. <laughs> so I'm now like visioning them doing it. And then how they and I was one of the the cards of moving around the white the white communities, mm. and I'm I'm you know back in the day if there's a car, a nice car, four black niggas in the car, it's getting stopped. I don't care who you are in a white community. So 
I was the kid that goes to the white nursery school mm. that where my dad put me in yeah. and my mom put me in. And whenever they get stopped, you know, we fetched, we we're fetching him from school. Mm. And it's understandable. You can't say, you know, we're checking our friend out. I am trying to the police there's, station. There's no friend here. So I was there, like, past to, to, to get through these, these hoods. So even when they fetched me from nursery school, they would then go to this bank and visualize their operation. Mm. And because they're speaking a language I know, mm. I'm listening to these people. So on the day, I, would have, I wouldn't be in, in class. I'd be, at, I'd be there with them. And they would execute, and they would pick me up from school. And my dad, what he used to do, every time he hit, they, 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 they hit a bank or whatever, he's mm. cut. He'd pay school fees. So my school fees was paid twice in, in, nursery, in, in primary school. Mm. Yeah. So he paid for like five years. Sure. Just in case he dies or he gets he gets apartheid or the system at the time catches him or whatever. So a lot of my education is thanks to his actions. But you but him being yeah. present or you being present while he was there, more than him teaching you, yeah. But at least that being present to watch him and his mates and how they moved. Sure. And and they never ever stole in their community. They stole from the system. You saw your father as a Robin Hood. I, so, so as opposed yeah. to what happened with the looting where you guys were defending him up on you, so, so someone could have been like, but that could have been your dad coming yes. to get money for him, MK and going to pay school fees sent to Anna somewhere. You're yeah. like, no, I don't think it would have been the same. No, no. So that's even a bad example because my mm. dad wouldn't have hit anything in the township. Your dad was Robin Hood? If you want to call it that. So when I Does that up, justify though what he was doing? So when Yes, it does. So when I grew up in... in um, my later school years, and I studied about Bo, Steve Biko, Bo, Chris Hardy, Bo, and like, oh, that means there were other crews. <laughs> that's, that's how I saw it. They were just doing their they part to li for, for the liberation struggle mm. of this country. So I'm not promoting um, crime, but the entire system of apartheid was crime. So no, no one must come and tell me that, oh, you, you are glorifying crime. You are talking about a few people stealing from an apartheid system to fund people that went out this country to train so that you can be free. I want to ask you a tricky question, and sure. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm putting you in a, in a tight spot. If we're all going to agree that land and the economy was stolen from black people, yeah. whether through the laws, policies, whether through conquest, mm. whether through exploited cheap labor, do you think realistically it's possible to ever get these things back it is. If they are to be gotten back in, a, not, in an amicable way. Not through politics. Versus in almost a similar violent way that it was taken. Not through politics, bro. Not politics, but yeah. I'm just asking if you it, think... It can. You, you can get the land back. Right now, think, think, think of it this way. Everybody that went to school with you, that is white, Indian, colored, or otherwise, Asian, doesn't matter. Do you think that if you put them on a round table and you had a discussion with them, do you think that that out negotiate you? You. I'm not saying anyone else. Never. The problem here is the old people. Mm. You have people who are perfect products of the apartheid education system. And maybe I'm good. My my mother, your father, and everyone that is older that studied Benny and Betty are a product of the apartheid system. Mm. So you then take the same products of the apartheid system and make them negotiate with the mastermind of the apartheid system. Mm. What do you think you're going to get out of them? Do you, if, do you still think all, negotiation is the answer? If all, if all these, these people step aside, mm. all, not because you've got what, what, crime, just step aside and allow the young people to leave this country, mm. the land will be back. Six months is too much. Negotiation? Negotiation. Listen, you don't think we must fight, fight for it and take no, up arms? No, no, look. No, that's people that fight. Ne? Um, fighting must be the last thing you do. Sure. People like me, you don't want to fight me. I'm, I'm a genius at fighting. Mm. But people that are actually genius at fighting, they will, that's the last thing that they're going to do. True. The art of war, Sun Tzu. You understand? So mm. if you, let me, let me put it this way. If you're a white kid right now and you've inherited all this that we are all fighting for, mm. and, I, and I talk to you and I say, let's use a car as an example. If you get stopped in a roadblock and they tell you that this car is a stolen car and you say, but my dad, I, it was in my garage. It used to be my dad's. We are not saying you stole the car. We are saying this car is a stolen car. We mm. can prove beyond reasonable doubt. Yeah. Is there any argument that must still happen here? 
They shouldn't be. If you attach yourself to the stolen property. You're complicit in the crime. Yes, you're making yourself an accessory to the crime. So therefore, but at first point of departure, we're not involving you in this crime. We are saying that what's in your position is stolen. If you can't understand that, then the law alone, because if it was a car, and, you've, and it, right now, mm. if I'm, I'm, I get caught in a roadblock and the car is stolen, and I, and I give them the sad story, my dad passed away and I started using it, nye, 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 said, that story is for your girlfriend. The story that we stick to here is that this car it's is stolen. a stolen car. Do you so d- the problem is that we, you'd over, we over, we're singing about the problem. Oh, leave a tambo. The man is dead. Nothing's soothing. going to happen. The problem the is that. is very soothing. Nah, man. That's how you get people pacified. You get them to, it's almost like therapy. It's enough for them to dream about the land, but never to actually own it. Do you know that everybody in that parliament doesn't have a plan to get the land back? They only have a plan for you to keep voting for them so that they have money. Can I answer why? Why? It's because they've got land. The one thing I have said is that most of our politicians, sure. they got their reparations. Sure. It's like they how, are rich. They are can't, fine. You, you can't expect the politicians who live in Houghton yes. to fight for lack of electricity in Soweto. Mm. They, they, found their, they found their South African dream. They've got game farms. They're rich. Sure. They've got shares. Whatever we were fighting for collectively, sure. they've got it. Yeah. So it's like, what land do you not have? Because sure. I've got farms. Mm. And you see, they keep us racially divided. You know? It works. For them. And I agree. So what needs to happen? We need to have a conference of young people, regardless of race. Mm and say that all these old people, including your mother, my mother, you, all of them, we need to cut the umbilical cord and let them go and float like a balloon and disappear somewhere. And we need to take ownership of today and tomorrow together. I don't want to speak about politics. We always have to go back to politics. But last question before we go back sure. to men. Um, do you genuinely believe your personal opinion? Do you believe that the land was stolen? Or do you believe that our conquered. forefathers were conquered and then an external system was brought in to manage the conquest. And that's what we're fighting I now think, I think within that same system. It's a balance of both because it wasn't all guns blazing if you referred to history. Mm. We are very accommodating people as Africans. So we accommodated people who misled us and that's stealing. If I make you take me into my house, pretend I've got a tummy ache, I need to use a toilet and my mission is to look at what I can take, mm. that's stealing. And yes, when you step out and come back and plan to take the picture on the wall and you literally overpower me and you've conquered me and stole from me. Mm. So it's, it's a balance of both. We can't just say they were conquered. You it's see? actually crazy that when you speak about accommodating, Emakasi yeah. Ongamla can come in anytime. anytime. It's still open time. Odaki he can't freely roam. In, in Santon. In, in suburbs. You get asked every five minutes, yes. where, where are you going? Private security or yeah. dark, he will be driving by yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. It's crazy. We're, yeah. we're still, we, ah, I want to detach myself. Black people are still very accommodating. Sure. So the biggest problem of this country um, is that men are diluted, that men are not dangerous enough. A man must be dangerous, Penwin. It must, Shaka Zulu was dangerous. Don't, they, they mustn't fool you. A man must be dangerous. Not act dangerous. Not always display their dangerous side. Mm. But a man must be dangerous. You must know that if I press this button, <laughs> I'm going to perish. That's it. So the, what protects your people, your women, your children, your old people, your senior citizens, and everyone else in your community must be men. Right now, men, Newcastle. Men are wearing gowns in the morning, sipping tea, gossiping. Yes, Peter. Uh, Nuts is for nuba fresh. Yeah, because, of TV, soft. because TV told you that, that you think that's real life. You think that's real life because TV showed you, showed you a gown sipping tea in the morning. It's not but real But our, our role models on TV Yeah, but those, are, those are not gowns. real, man. Those are not real. Let me tell you that... Not the, real what the, men? They're not real. They're not, not real, real people TV are not real men. It's not real. You get a script. Right now, you and I don't have a script even for what we're discussing. Yeah. It's a real conversation. When it's scripted, it's not Penwell. Mm. So don't tell me about those people who are on TV, who, who, live a, who, live, who are directed. Cut, say it again. Cut, say it again. Cut, you shot him wrong. Shoot him like this. Where I come from, shoot you. There's no cut, Baba. We're burying you. Hmm. You see? 
So men are too weak. Men are too weak. It doesn't mean that when you, when you, when you are dangerous. Look, you know what makes me dangerous? Mm. There's nothing you can bring as a force that I'll not match. Mm. You can try. No problem. Come try. And that's why we are, a, we are able to go to, we say that the, the today's dedicated to drug dealers. Coco, no more selling drugs here, Baba. You're killing our children one side. They make a call and four cars come, no number plate. No problem. Whatever they're carrying, we have. And I can even use it better than them, that I can guarantee you. Whatever it is they're carrying, I can use it better than them. So realistically speaking, because I know you love systems. Yeah. If you look at the various systems, TV being one of them, do you think... Andrew Tate has just officially converted to Islam, which is spoken very fondly about. about yeah. It's in line with nature, as you were saying. Uh, do you think men, black men in particular, or let's call it weaker oppressed men, regardless of race, do you think they should still be going to a Christian church? Do you think they should still be watching the TV programs? Are there certain sports they should be playing? Are there certain activities they should be engaging in? Just as an example, because there are some guys who are not as intelligent to read between the lines. So they're like, Lux, just tell me, which church must I go to? Which king must I follow? Which sports must I play? What must I consume so that I can become aligned with nature and become like you? Look, there is no, there is no manual. If you understand nature, then you'll understand your own environment. Mm. I can't tell you what to do in your environment. When, whenever I walk into a house, I calculate the exits. I calculate if there's a problem here, what do I do there? And it becomes normal. It's normalized in my system. Because when, if a lion walks in, forget a human being with a gun, I'm not going to be hiding behind my kids and my mother. It's what I'm saying. They are going to be hiding behind me. Do mm. you understand what I mean? Mm. So when, when that moment comes, when theory meets real life, what do you do? So in but your, I mean, where do you get this space, from? Because I mean, is this just, is who you are now just, just genetic? It's gen I just think, environment? I think probably it's just, for me, it's natural. So you can't advise anyway, guys Rickle on... Child, Rickle child, in this room, in this right now, if everybody was briefed to attack me mm. when we are done, mm. you, you guys have a big problem. You must go back to whoever gave you that mission and say that, Nchan, you don't love us. <laughs> okay, John Wick. No, no, I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm listening. You see... So, again, if I'm going to answer that question as, as easy as possible, wherever you are as a man, you need to be prepared because even thugs prepare themselves. True. So if you're not prepared, every day you are just sleeping and you don't have things that can talk to you naturally in the yard. Some, some people, you, you can call them stupid. They don't have alarms. Marubel Pikir. Pikir is, a, is, a, is a, that, that cup that they use in prisons. Okay. They, you can, put it, you can put one of those on the door handle. Someone opens from the other side, it, it makes a noise forever. You will mm. wake up. So I'm not saying you become John Wick and a Mission Impossible house and what, what. Mm. But you, you can be prepared and more prepared than the next person. Shooting range? Sh you go to the shooting range because what's a, what's a weapon of choice today? It's a gun. Yeah. For anyone that does violent crime. You go, you, uh, for, for cash and transit, they use AK-47s, mm. Right. So for, for people, if you look at the stats, if they break into people's houses, they generally have handguns. Mm. So wh wh what do you do in that situation? You make sure that you can match the force that's about to attack you. Boom. At bare minimum. So if you're a man today, you don't, you've never handled a gun, and you're shellering my sister, you have a problem, kid. <laughs> you know, you're not going to get there by any means. Jim? You must be, you must be st as strong as your natural self can ever be. So yeah. gym is extra, it's weights, it's whatever else. There's no need to push 200 kilograms. Mm. If you can do push-ups, like you see, we had that pen and Lux push-up contest. That was actually, thanks, thanks, bro. That, that was actually a, a, a sign that says that men must, must actually stay healthy, keep healthy, and be as naturally strong as you can possibly be within your own element. So mm. if you're a man and you can't, and you can't do push-ups, it's probably no problem. Again, not in my family. You're not taking anybody in my family. Jeez. If I could, you can't. But I'm be, smart and I've if, got money. If, listen, if you, if I could, you can't be friends with my brother because do you know how many people are smart with money that died because they didn't have natural body strength? Do you know? Car accident. You could you could move yourself into a position where you can stay alive. Mm. 
a car, a car's about to hit the both of us. Mm. You could run and be quicker. Naturally, some things, material things don't, don't matter anymore. Yeah. There's many moments in life where your material well-being counts for nothing. So you believe men need to get in tune with nature? With nature. And, just, and environment. Just, just align to nature and master your environment. Mm. Then your mindset is 100%. Uh, in closing, Lux, uh, you've spent some time with my brother, mm. <laughs> Benson. <laughs> Other dogs. Uh, did, what are you, did you what see are, how solid your brother is? Your brother is a... Is a, is a is, is intimidating with the eye because he's a, he's a solid guy. Like, his structure is solid. Phys he's, he's solid. Yeah. Solid, 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 solid. So he intimidates physically as well. Yeah, so I you don't feel. need to be intimidating. Just yeah. be capable. Sure. Because a lot of these intimidating niggas are just loud mouths. They're mm. not capable of anything. So just be capable. So if, if I can see for sure that this guy is fit, mm. I know that you're capable of, of running faster than the average person, of of pulling me away, maybe I didn't see it coming and you saved my life. But if you're a weak guy, like you want to hold on to me, but you won't pull me because mm. how, how are you going to save my life? And how you and I can't even get into a fight to save others because you're a weak guy. We start running half a K and, and I now need to carry you. So it's double the weight. It's a Jeez. problem. Like I, I don't want weak people around me. It's just what it is. Don't just, if you were, if we're animals, if we're dogs, lions, you'd be killed. True. And you'd be killed because you're too weak. You're making everybody weak. True. You're weak. Weakness, you're dragging us all down. Bro, fear and weakness are, are twins as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. If, you, if you're full of fear, you, you are, and, and they're all contagious. Weakness is contagious. You know that. Mm. Because if, if I do 100 push-ups a day and I start having a friend called Peno who can't even do two push-ups, do you know that after three months, I'm going to be doing 60 push-ups a day? Mm. But if I if schema a Peno that does 200 push-ups, do you understand what happens in six months? I'm not doing 150. Yeah. So weakness is, is very, very contagious. So you be careful who you scheme around you. No, I agree with you. Yeah, even, even for, for your mental well-being, for your emotional well-being, for your, it doesn't matter which part of life you want to look at. Mm. It's it, people around you. Your environment will always complement your mindset. Always. If you want to be the best soccer player, best believe, chill with soccer players. Because yes. if you start chilling with cricket players, you might just be the next best cricket player True. not soccer player so your environment is something that you must master so that you can unlock your mindset there's nothing achievable without a mastered environment I'm excited sure. that I'm getting young energetic fit guys who are capable with weapons yeah. who have a clear mind who are very intelligent you know um, getting them together because I do think we need to start building ourselves I look to nature the lions and the like but then I look to human nature and I look at some of the nations that if ever there was a, a world war competition, you look at Russia, you look at some of the American troops. People have not even seen them because they don't really show them on TV. You look at some of the Chinese troops. You look at some of the North Korean soldiers. You look at normal Nigerian guys and you start thinking if we were just to compete on combat, physically, guns, whatever, we'd see flames. So... I love the idea of getting as many men as possible, um, again, regardless of race, nationality, but as many men as possible to go back to being alpha because I'd like women to go as, as far as they can to become the best version of women they can be. It's what's best for kids. It's what's best for us when we have to eat. It's what's best for the home. So the more men that we get looking like, acting like, thinking like us, I think we stand a chance to become something special in this sure. world. You know, if, if men like us ever had to lead this country, the future is in good hands because you're going to be producing, if I was the president of your country right now, defense would be part of your high school syllabus. You'd know when you graduate matric or run matric certificate, you know how to shoot, you know how to defend yourself if the country ever goes to war because we actually are at war, but you've got weak leaders who don't even tell you that you are at war. Mm. And they're hoping that they have their term in politics goes so that someone else can jump into this war zone. South Africa is a war zone. Women getting raped left, right, and center. You've got your neighbors coming and and undocumented, doing as they please, shooting left, right, and center, walking, carrying AK-47s. Do you think they're illegal, those AK-47s? They are illegal. Shooting at police, killing police, slapping around police on social media. This country is at war. We are under siege, Peno. So for me, if I was your leader, 
I'd make sure that the average citizen has enough skill to defend themselves, their family, and others. Right now, the average citizen can't even do 10 push-ups. Hmm. Bring back military training. We are a weak state, panel. We are In weak. the absence they of that, lie we need boot camps. You. South Africa is a weak state. They mustn't lie to you. We've got brilliant military, and that's, that's always inactive. Because I know the, the military system is apolitical, but unfortunately it's commanded by politics because the president of the country commands the military. So we can blame the military all year. It's political will that's, that's missing. If, the, mm. if, if your president of, of, of the day can say that this problem of uh, undocumented people carrying weapons that are far bigger than SEP, SEP standard mm. military issue, uh, SEP standard uh, weaponry issue, you, you, you have to activate the military. You have to. It's just that simple. You have to. Mm. If you don't want to make activate the military in uniform, COVID operations are there. You can put them underground missions. They sort things out. Our military is just, just chilling. It's servicing United Nations and Africa Union more than it's servicing its own country. Hmm. I'm telling you facts. I so, want to shut this thing down, but yeah, I, so, I feel like adding more stuff. Yeah, but look, but the, the truth of the matter is, if you had a leader like Putin who will stand up and not be scared to take real decisions for his people, mm. then you've got a leader. Not a leader that's, that you don't know if, if it's coming or we are going or what, what, what's... Look, look, right now, right now, mm. Nyaope has killed more people. Drugs has killed more people than COVID did in our, in our country. But what's the investment ratio? Hmm. We're investing more in something that could kill people. You don't have a case study of it killing. Things that are killing our people on the ground every day. There's no investment in them. Where's the investment? Where's the political will? to fight the drug dealers? Or maybe are they the drug dealers? Yes, sir. Am I joking with facts? Maybe. But it's what it is. This is your country. You vote. Every day you vote. You vote for the same thing repeatedly, hoping for a difference. I say stop voting and create a new system that will work for you. Because that, that's an old system. That's why it doesn't service you. Right now, I can go buy drugs. It's easy. It's easy. Right now, I can go buy drugs. Going to school is difficult, panel. If I, if, if I didn't have school and I'm a grade 12 kid, I'm worried about how am I going to pay the school fees. But I can take drugs, no problem. That's too easy. Because there's no real consequence for a drug user or a dealer in this country of yours. So what do we do, panel? The kids might as well just all sell drugs. Because there's no consequence to that. When was the last time you, the most informed person who lives on, online, heard that a drug dealer was arrested? You, panel, answer me, you. When was the last time you heard a drug dealer was arrested? Instead, the last time you heard about a drug dealing case in court is when Atlanta Lux, a drug dealer, opened a case against me, supported by your EFF political party again. So I'm not entertained by these people or their systems. They can do what they want as long as they are sure that now when they get close to me, they best be ready, bro. A anytime, I don't mind. Anytime. They all know my address. I can repeat it because it's, it's public now. I can repeat it. So the problem with your country, your leadership is pathetic. The men are weak, super weak. The women have to man up because your men are weak. But let's get it down. Every time we mobilize and we march against anything, I've got 80% women taken to the streets, the men watching. F fucking useless. That's your country. Majority of that parliament, men. But they argue. They argue. Bring back the money. Bring back the money. People are dying. If I was in that parliament, I'd raise my hand and say, while you guys argue and make love with words, you'll find me in the streets fighting the real issues of our people. That's, not what's, that's what's missing here. Let's have a dick contest if you want that. Let's, let's, let's see who's got bigger balls. How's about you go to where you come from in parliament? How's about all of you go to your communities? Fix your communities first before claiming you want to fix this country. All your communities are upside down. Your president, that is Ramaphosa, who's a Soweto. Do you know how much drugs are in Soweto? Do you know that? Your, your, your other leader that used to be young, that thinks he's still young. Kimang, Kimang Tony. EFF, come on, this boy. Julius. Julius. 
Julius, we used to love Julius so much. I thought Julius would back up all his talk with action. Dololo action. But I guess he learned from the best. He learned from those who, who was with in, the, in those political ranks. Just talk, no action. If you go to, go to my Instagram, I've been to, to Limpopo, Kasia Julius 99. Walked into shops selling uh, expired goods to people. Ukasia high. Truck dealers, all guns out. Huma unyi wa bullets flying. Ukasia high. Uko parliament in Waras. Ngobla la baba. Bako northwest, bako kai kai. But let's go to parliament. Free state. Baba ngat. They just, they're just making their personal fights the people's fight, which is not true. Good people are not educated enough to see it. But who am I? And I'll just keep leading in my own space panel and make sure that I can contribute as far as my hand can reach, my eyes can see. Because anything beyond that requires all of us to be on the same level, and we're not on the same level in terms of understanding how life works and the systems work. It's that simple. So you can continue being misled and lied to by those people. Probably after this interview, you're going to hear more propaganda stories about me on Twitter and what what. They can continue. They can. It, it doesn't phase me. It doesn't. History will judge them, not me. As I speak to you uh, on my phone, if you want me to take it out, I can. Chris Hani's wife reached out to me. Chris Hani's wife. Maybe I'm not talking about Chris Hani on Twitter. I'm talking about the man that hit the pavement that was assassinated for this freedom. She reached out to me. Do you know why? Because there's a foreigner um, rubbing in the CBD. Are you telling me amongst everyone in this political space, regardless of the political party, that woman doesn't have a place to, to be safe? You can't seek refuge from one of the political connections? Must reach out to this young person from Soweto without political affiliation, nothing, and say that there's no one that's listening to me. We are just social misfits. Some of us, our husbands, died. <clears throat> for this freedom, and we don't have a place in this new South Africa. We don't. Bro, how does Chris and his wife get treated like this 2022? You tell me. How? Uh, Luna, you guys believe too much in these nonsense politicians. How? The only secret is we must fix the homes, fix the communities. And if we all do that, all of us must actually go back. The real country is not virtual. It's not online. It's in real life. Go back to your communities, all of you. Fix your home, fix your communities. Everything falls into place. The country will be a better place. All of you here, you just want to move from KZN and on Northwest and Soweto and Kaika. You want to go rush to that parliament in Cape Town, thinking that's a place, a platform to change the country. It can never be. The country's changed in your home and in your community. Imagine if we all did what we are doing in Soweto. In all of us in our communities. Mm. And your people on your Twitter are saying, yeah, yeah, you think you, 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 you hardcore. Go to Cape Flats, I want to see something. Bro, how's about the people in Cape Flats fight the drug dealers? And I fight the ones in Soweto, and you fight the ones in KZN. And hopefully all these political leaders die, because they're about to die. They're all old anyway. You don't need to kill them. They're going to die. What happens when they die? What happens when they die? Do you have enough men out here with real balls to do what's supposed to be done? That's why the women are manning up, because you guys are not men. We are all messed up. We're not men. We're not, we're not solid men. Solid men is not physical. Bro. Solid men is, is, is guaranteeing security for today and tomorrow. We were infiltrated. Our parents were conquered. Our, our ancestors were conquered. But you continue the conquer. You continue the systems. You me, you, everybody. The men are weak. The men are weak. That's why even some people stand behind pit bulls, the pit bull culture, because the animal is now the, the strong one and you need to associate yourself with strength. We're not alone, not strong. That's why these politicians, they need to lie to you and come and get your people's power so that they can associate with the people's power. Them alone, they can't go to a deep roof square and protest for the people alone. They can't, they can't go face drug dealers alone. They can't go stand at Maponya Mall with the rifle in hand and say, come, alone. She's about weak blind. That's why they, they buy these, these young ones, go to first year university, your politicians. 
they sleep with the young kids because they don't have the power. So, do you think Shaka Zulu would have, would, in this day and time, Akala Tangosinian, Yako Yako High School, Arbalelon, your politicians are doing that. Baba Mbakari Vitlaste. And we all look up to owning V classes because they t- they're competing with us here, the young people. There's no girl right now who comes to the vets who has a story about how politicians are going to be or going to be able to successfully. We are fucked more than you think. We, 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 we think that, that magazines and TV will dictate reality. It's not. Reality is what's happening on the ground. Your politicians... 11, 12 midnight, they send their ice boys to Wetapu to fetch these girls and sleep with them. Look at your influencers, speak about your politician. They're the first to start talking nonsense because they're benefiting from it. Go to Midrand. All these young girls are renting there. Ask them where they come from, townships. How do they rent? How do they pay the rent there? All you niggas know how hard this life is. How do these girls pay rent? Track it. It comes from these politicians, these businessmen. Our value system in society is gone, Peno. We are fucked. It's gone. And that's why you and I must go now sleep with the old women because their counterparts, our, our, our fathers, are sleeping with our partners. But that means we have no choice but to sleep with the ones upstairs now to also get a tent, to also get some deal of, of some sort. Because the women are manning up. They're in positions of power. So I must sleep with them. And where does it go? It's a vicious cycle. It goes over and over until you, all you motherfuckers man up. <laughs>